hi guys and welcome back to my channel okay so on this channel today i'm going to be showing you guys the difference between wafer paper and sugar paper and like how to use them or basically the difference in using them yes so today i don't exactly have like a sugar paper that is not printed on but i have this one that i printed like lion king whatever on <laughs> so that's what i'm going to be using as example for you guys today if you notice i'm taking my wafer paper out of the cling film that i wrapped it in and that's because like if you if you're not using it at a particular time every time you're done using it make sure you keep it wrapped up otherwise it dries out really fast whether for wafer paper or sugar paper but wafer paper dries out really fast faster than sugar paper okay so let's get started in this comparison okay so the first thing you want to notice is one is thicker than the other so when it comes to thickness yeah with the sugar paper is thicker than the wafer paper so if you're looking for something that is more durable especially if you're going to be using it on top of buttercream it is better for you to go with sugar paper because it is a lot thicker and it is even more pliable with a, i'm holding wafer paper right now and it is not as pliable if you blend it bend it too much see how pliable this sugar paper is yes if you bend it too much you can literally fold it on like you can turn it into a fabric basically but for the wafer paper if you bend it too much it will crack and then have this cracked whatever on it and the sugar paper kind of like has um like something um like a film attached to the back that way like it doesn't that that makes it not dry out as fast as the wafer paper the wafer paper is made out of rice and it's just you know very light and they are thicker ones of course this is the thinnest one they are thicker ones that you can buy and those ones dry out even faster than this one so when you're using wafer paper you have to bear that in mind okay so number two we're considering is like the pliability see how like when you bend this it kind of just breaks apart yeah the same thing happens with sugar paper but it is not as 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 it doesn't crack as much as wafer paper does i want to show you how this goes if you take this peel out the film from beneath and bend it and see yeah it will crack just like the wafer paper did but not as like so far apart this one has a lot more moisture than the wafer paper so that's the difference when it comes to um pliability and you know and stuff okay so usually for wafer paper it's best for you to use it on fondant it does best on fondant but for sugar paper like it does best on fondant as well but you can still use it on buttercream and sometimes whipped cream okay so no, number four we're going to consider is number three yes is the reaction to water so i want you to notice i'm adding some water with a brush right now to some wafer to a piece of wafer paper and i'm sticking it to the um to the film beneath see how it just starts to become mushy and like just crumbles basically it just becomes like a ball of mush if you add too much water and if you're trying to if you add a little bit if you add the same amount of water to the sugar paper it has more structural integrity even like when water is added to it compared to um compared to wafer paper and stuff so if you're going to put in this on a cake like if you're going to be using it on whipped cream it's better for you to use wafer sugar paper or if you're going to be using it on butter cream okay so now that we are done with um comparing it when it comes in contact with water the next thing we're going to be talking about is the price yes so number four is the price of course sugar paper like is like double times more expensive two times more expensive than wafer paper so if you're looking to buy wafer paper depending on the thickness of the wafer paper most times uh, the sugar paper is like almost times two the price of the wafer paper so now that we're done comparing both wafer paper and sugar paper i'm going to be telling you guys two things for you to note whether you're using sugar paper or wafer paper number one is the fact that the color transfers yes so once it is already printed on whether it's wafer paper or sugar paper once it comes in contact with moisture the color starts to transfer so if you're using it make sure your hands are not wet or you're not putting it on a wet surface and if you're using it on whipped cream make sure like the whipped cream is already made and all you have to do is just to stick it on 
and then number two you need to remember is the fact that like when you want to store it you need to store it in a cold dry place and like that is not exposed to air or moisture so what i like to do is to wrap it in cling film like i'll put them together like and then wrap them completely in cling film so like it can be in like a cool dry place where like it can sweat water can touch it or it can get like unnecessarily dry because that way like it changes the texture of your wafer or sugar paper so i hope this video has been useful to you guys and if you have some questions just leave them for me in the comment section below thank you guys for always watching my videos and could you please give me a thumbs up on this video i'd really appreciate it and subscribe to my channel thank you guys and i will see you in future videos